Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with some news. Um, well, not really news, it's kind of old news, but I do want to um, touch base on it. Um, Jameis Winston, Winston it got suspended for the first three games of the NFL season. The um, Buccaneers will be without Jameis Winston for the first three games as he serves a suspension for conduct policy um, for not so much domestic violence, but he is alleged of groping a woman, an a Uber driver, in Arizona. Um, if, and the exact details of it is that he touched the girl's uh, vagina. My response to this, first of all, I'm very familiar with um, everything sexual harassment, and this is sexual harassment. Um, he's lucky he didn't get charged. Let's just keep it, let's just say, um, in Arizona, is a class two felony up to 14 years in jail for sexual assault. He would have been probably charged with one count of that. Sexual harassment, like, I'm familiar with it. I mean, I've done a, I mean, I made a slideshow for sexual harassment before. But, so I'm pretty familiar with the whole sexual harassment um, stuff. And this is just, like, pathetic, in my opinion. Like, he's lucky he only got three games. And then, usually the, uh, the hot girl, Molly Kerm, on first take, she annoys me with her, like, dumb points because I'm kind of just whenever I watch that show she starts talking about her like point of view is like I'm just saying there like bitch just moderate the show but that but she brought up a good point Tom Brady got four games for deflating footballs but he get, but James Winston gets three games for groping a woman even though he was not found guilty of it I'm pretty sure it did happen and the, the policy for personal conduct is six games. He should have gotten six games and possibly even more. I mean, this is pathetic on a lot of levels. Now, looking at the Buccaneers' first three games, um, they were, even with Jameis Winston, I think they would have lost all three. Um, they had the Eagles, Saints, and Steelers. I mean, I just feel like they will have lost all three, even with Jameis Winston. Um, Jameis Winston, this was a going to be a big year for him. He's going to have to prove himself in 13 games. Um, about for um his contract, his contract is coming up. Um, Dirk Cutler, this was a big year for him. He's going to have to go with Ryan Fitzpatrick for the first three games. And Ryan Fitzpatrick ain't that bad. He's he's actually a decent backup. Actually, a pretty damn good backup now thinking about it. But, I mean, this it's going to hurt Kirk, uh, Dirk um, Cutler's um, chance of coming back after this year. I thought he should have been fired last year, but that's just me. Um... But yeah, um, Tampa Bay, in my opinion, was probably going to be one of the worst three teams in the NFC um, and had a chance to be the worst team in the NFC this upcoming season. And now those chances just get greater. And I, I just definitely think, um, I don't think it's as huge as people are making it, but I mean, they're definitely going probably 0-3 in that stretch. Now and I mean Jameis Winston is I, I mean some people say that he should be released from the Bucks. I I am against that because to me Jameis Winston is a top twenty quarterback in the league. Um, I don't think he's top ten or top fifteen. I think he's way around the ballpark, like sixteen to twenty. Um, I, and I will do a video before the NFL season ranking my quarterbacks going into the season. But, I mean, he's your franchise quarterback if you're Tampa Bay. You cannot have this happen if you're the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You just can't have it happen. So, I mean, I'm against um, releasing him, but I think this, I think he, he has cost himself some dollars in his contract extension because... Cam Newman had similar issues because Jameis and Cam to me are very similar in the sense that 
I mean, Cam, like, he stole, like, computers at University of Florida and got arrested. I mean, James Winston had that, like, one rape case that was dropped against him. Um, he stole crab legs from a, a store, like, a supermarket. That's To me, that's not a big deal, but to other people, they're like, oh, my God, he stole crab legs. I mean, to me, that's not a big deal, but, I mean, it's going to cost him at the table, at the negotiation table but he probably lost himself probably 10 to 15 million guaranteed money like I, I just don't know but I do think he has lost himself money and also James Winston um, this incident has told me um, I don't think he has much respect for women because there's two other instances two other incidents um, one of them being the rape case I brought up a few seconds ago at Florida State. Uh, nothing got turned out of that. I don't even think he was charged. And then the other one, he was talking to a group of elementary schoolers, and he said he asked the guys to stand up and be like, oh, the guys are the strong guys, but the women say stay silent. So I really don't think uh, James Winston has a lot of respect for women, but that's just me. Even though he has a fiancé, and he just welcomed a baby, like, like a today actually like when I was looking up this picture for the thumbnail I mean that's what I saw so I was like damn and um but yeah but I just don't think he has much respect for women he's also changing agents I don't know why because according to reports this was a negotiation he'll sit out three games which I really like which is like oh to me like he should give kudos, kudos to his agent because I just don't like see why he would change agents, but I do think he costs money. I think what this means is that he costs money at himself um, at the, at the um, negotiation table, and I mean people are gonna st people are saying oh they should release him. I don't think they should release him, but if he pr plays like absolute dog shit this year, uh, he will be on the hot seat next year in my opinion with his um, history now. So that's my view about the whole Jameis Winston thing. To me, it's kind of a big deal, but at the same time, not really that big of a deal. But, I mean, it, it's serious. Sexual harassment is serious. I mean, I, I do want to outline that. That it is serious. Like, it's no joke here. So, that's my view about the whole thing. Um, please subscribe and like the video. Um, please check out my other videos on my channel. You can just click click on my channel and look up the other videos. I have some I have um Alabama, Clemson, Georgia and Ohio State football prediction videos. I have some NBA free agency videos up. So please go look at that. Um and this is and thanks for watching again. Um and this is McDee the Beast signing off.